Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Joining me now is Superior Livestock Representative Clint Berry. Clint, thank you so much for being here with us today. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here. It's great to be in Natchitoches and enjoying the, the Southern hospitality here in Louisiana. One of my favorite places to come every year. There's so much history in this town and, and Rayburn and his crew always put on such a good feed and a good time here. Absolutely. So many great people here. Let's first get into it. Let's kind of talk about what we can expect from the market today. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I really think we're going to come out of here this morning and kind of blow the doors off. We've had a couple of good weeks, just been a really bullish market, both in the feeder cattle contracts and on the lives. I mean, uh, very seldom in my lifetime have I ever seen August live cattle contracts higher than April live cattle contracts. And you look, uh, you look at projections on the board, both in feeders and live cattle going forward, and, you know, there's just strength in a lot of areas. And, and that's a compliment to how much beef demand we have going and the turn in the cycle to where we are starting to have some pressure in a good way for us as producers on the supply side. You know, I really anticipate as we move into the summer with our exports booming and, and uh, you know, beef demand flying off the shelves that we're, we're really sitting in a good position in the cattle industry to make some profit. And I just feel pretty excited for both our sellers and our buyers as we move forward in the next few years. Absolutely. And Clint, that's kind of what's really exciting about being in a place like this because we get to be here with our sellers and our buyers and get to feel the excitement uh, in the room as it fills up and be able to see their cattle sell. It's really an exciting time. Clint, you're able to travel the country. You're out doing deliveries. Let's kind of talk about what you've been seeing out on the road. Sure, it's been, you know, and, and it's a, a tale of weather in certain places. About half the country's dry and about half the country's wet. And, uh, you know, as you're out and about, there's a lot of optimism out there. A lot of producers, as you know, as we've been shipping cattle, especially some of the bigger calves coming off wheat and things like that. But there's a lot of just positive momentum coming. And, uh, you know, the feed yards are starting to open up pen space. You know, we're definitely hitting that spot, that niche there where, where we're needing cattle. And I think you're going to see that today at the auction as we move forward with these calves. And Clint, you know, being able to be here in this room, what's the importance of going on these road sales to you? What do you think? For me, it's it's helping build brand recognition and loyalty with our customer base, both buyer and seller when I say that, because it doesn't work without both sides of that equation. And uh, this is one of the sales for me. I mean, I, I realize we're not in summer yet, but this is one of them sales where it feels like we're kicking off our big run and we finally get back together. And after a year of COVID, I think everybody is ready to get back and celebrate a little bit. Absolutely. And Louisiana is a great place to do it, Clint. Thank you so much. Uh, Stay tuned for the auction, and if you need to look at any of those lots, visit superiorlivestock.com. Join us back here again at 7.30 a.m. Central. That was Superior.